Okay, in this video, I want to explain how the masked move works. And this can be a pretty complicated thing to understand, especially within the confines of uh, a simulation program. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to set this up and how it works and what the purpose is the best that I can here. So um, let's go ahead and we are going to put in a basic push button. Okay, and um, if you haven't watched the video on the move instruction, please watch that first because that will make this a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so this is over in the move logics and we will click on the masked move. Okay, now. In the book, it uses B3s to do this, which I don't like. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this in the N7 folder as a whole, and then I'm going to make a couple quick modifications to show you how it works. So I'm going to identify this as N70. This will be our destination. Our mask, which will either block or allow data to pass through, I'm going to make N71. And I'll make my destination N7 colon 2. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my N7 folder and I'm going to make this binary. So what I'm doing here, what I'm going to demonstrate is the information that is here will pass to this word here okay if there is a one there so think of a uh think of a zero okay as a block and think of a one as a pass through okay now i don't have a ton here right now so i'm just gonna i think for fun we'll just kind of put some random numbers in here f four d one okay um we will do this for this. I'm going to make this 00FF. And here we will just make this zero. Okay, so now what the heck does that mean? Well, let's talk about it. So I have a random number of ones and zeros here for my source. For my mask, anything, any bit, zero through seven will pass through anything 8 to 15 will be blocked okay why because there's a zero here and a one here and then there's nothing here right so let me go ahead and, de and let me go ahead and demonstrate how this works okay because sometimes i just think that's a little bit easier all right so i'm going to right click here i am going to go to the data table to file drop this into the n7 Okay, now notice I haven't activated my switch, so everything is exactly how it was before. Okay, so I have a number of random ones and zeros here. The first eight here are stopped. Okay, so now let me put this into run mode. When I activate this switch right here, certain ones will pass down, certain ones won't. Now look what happened here. I'm at 209. Okay, but if I look at my binary number, this be oops, the heck did I just do? Decimal, sorry. This number here dropped down, this zero dropped down here, but it was already a zero, so it didn't matter. Same thing here, same thing here. A one dropped through here, a one dropped through here, and a one dropped through here. Notice over here, none of those ones came down. Okay, and the reason is, is because there are zeros here, so nothing changed. Okay, nothing changed at all. So let's say I come here and I make this a zero. So I'll double click and turn this into a zero. Notice this didn't become a zero right away because I haven't activated the switch. But if I do, you'll notice that this one became a zero. So it will pass a zero down as well. It's not just a pass for ones. Okay, sometimes this can be a little bit easier if this is demonstrated from inputs to outputs, okay? So I'm gonna identify this as I colon one. That will say this whole word here. I'll leave my N71 as is, and I'm gonna make my destination zero colon two, all right? Now, if I bring up my N7 here,
and I'm going to just for quick quickly here one two three four okay so I'm gonna make all of these ones okay so whatever I do here should pass through right to here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead um, switch this up to here just a selector switch so I'll, I'm gonna download put into run mode now watch every input that I activate oops let me activate this every input that I activate will immediately take on that output so for my students we this was the first lab that we actually typed in right I going right to an output input zero going right to output zero so forth and so on we did this in one line now and look what happens whatever number is here goes up to here all right now I will turn this off I'm going to go to the data table file bring this over here I'm going to go to n7 convert this over to hexadecimal just so I can quickly put things in I'm going to do the same thing I did before oops binary the first eight the first eight here will allow stuff information to pass but the last eight won't and i'm just doing this as a demonstration you can pick and choose whichever ones you want so um now if i turn this off oops let me go ahead and lock this in if i turn this off this switch will work this switch will work this switch will work but no matter what happens that information is not being passed down okay all right and that's how a mask move works in logic Pro.